In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete beginner's guide to the T-Lab AI Language Translate Shopify app. Now, this is basically a really good app that allows you to translate your store into multiple languages, add currencies to reach new markets and boost sales. So the first thing you want to do is install it. And to do that, you can click the link in the description. It will take you to this page here. Just press install. And it should now go ahead and start installing onto your Shopify store. So give it a second and it will come up with this page here. You just want to go down here and press on the install button here and it should now be ready to go on your Shopify store. It might take a second, depends how your Wi-Fi is, that kind of thing. So here we are. First of all, we're going to be given some um, simple home stuff. So choose a language, choose a language, choose and configure the languages in which you wish to translate your store. So we can go ahead and pick a language. So let's say, um, let's say we want to add Dutch, we can press add language and we can go ahead and publish it and we can put the AI translation on. So AI translations for the language can be de can be deactivated only by removing and re-adding the language. So we can just press yes. That's basically going to go ahead and it's going to translate all of the stuff across. So we can just press bulk translate and um, you can select what you don't want to translate as well. So we press that and it's going to go ahead and basically bulk translate all of these things down here, which is pretty easy to go ahead and do. So there's a second way you can do it, which is manually translate it. So you can just start, start translating here. And um, this basically allows you to manually go through and translate each word one by one in case you want to do some special uh, wording. Or maybe you think that the um, translation isn't great, you can go ahead and do that manually. Now, that's the languages section. It's very simple just to go ahead and add a language. For us to actually um, use the markets, it recommends that we go ahead and actually set up the markets over here, which is quite simple to do. Um, we've got our UK, which is primary. We've got European Union and international. But let's just say we want to go um, and add Dutch. So Netherlands. Oh, I need to. So we can go into here, we can search Netherlands. Um, add market and now it's a primary market or oh, it's not a primary market it's an active market I should say it's ready to go which means that if we go back here and refresh it it should show up that it's um, an active market now which means that people should be able to shop with that so it's still an active but um, give it a second and it should load up now we can also go over here and we can import so they've got a um, sample CSV file here and basically this allows us to um, translate it. So we've got the ID here, the key, um, the language or the target locale, and then we've got the translation. So we can go through and we can just basically add these in. And it also explains a bit how to do it here. Um, but if you don't get it, you can press help and they'll explain it more in depth. And basically from there, we can go ahead and we can choose the file that we just made. We can export this. We didn't need to export it as a CSV file. So download CSV here, um, and then we can go ahead and put it in there. And we can press overwrite, or we don't have to, it's up to us. We can also export um, some of the data that we've got. So we can export products, filters, themes, pages, shop, you know, there's loads of stuff in here. You can also select what you don't want to export as well, which is pretty easy to do. Now we've got the AI translate bit that we've already looked at. Um, we've got the AI translation. We've got the auto AI translation. So the auto AI translation will listen to newly added or updated resources and translate them automatically. You select the language you want to do this for, um, and you select if you want to do this for everything or products or what you want to do it for. Uh, it's really up to you. Now we've got these switches here. So this is where we're going to be able to add a switcher. And to do this, we have to activate it in the Shopify theme. So it will load up Shopify. Um, it might take a second. Then in the top left, you want to go to App Embeds, and it should turn on the language switcher here in the App Embeds. And I have a few settings in here. Um, but yeah, make sure it's turned on. And if you've got any apps that might interfere with it, make sure they're turned off. So I had a language app down here that I'd had turned on. So I had this one turned on. I need to turn it off. Make sure it's turned off um, so that you're ready to go. So now we can go back into here and uh, we can just um, reload it and it should be 
installed in our store or should be recognized as installed in our store. Switches, um, there we go. So that's now on our store. We've got currencies as well. So you can go ahead and we can turn on the switcher. I just turned that on myself, but it's the same process. You want to go over here and just turn on the switcher. And then down here we can um, basically fiddle, fiddle with the settings. We can turn on or off what we want. So we can turn on flags, we can turn on headers, um, all that kind of stuff. And we can go ahead and press save and you can see it's showing up here. This is going to be the currency converter. So they can click on this, they can change the country region, region or, or the language if they want to. So we've got Portuguese. And we can see now it's converted to euros like that. Um, then we've got our glossary here. So our glossary is basically we can set specific words as how we want them. But that's basically how you use the T-Labs app for Shopify. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.